Hello friends, myself Dr. Nandukumar Ravoli from College of Engineering Ambazugri is going to deal with numerical methods in mechanical engineering. This is our 22nd lecture. In previous lecture, we have discussed about non-linear floor fitting and numericals over the uh, non-linear floor fitting. So now today, we are going to discuss about uh, general forms of Newton's interpolation polynomial. So, here, in order to fit nth order polynomial, to fit nth order polynomial, nth order polynomial, to n plus 1, data points the nth order polynomial is given by fn of x is equal to a0 plus of a1 into x minus x0 plus a2 x minus x0 x minus x1 plus an x minus x naught x minus x1 into x minus xn minus 1 so here we have data points n n plus 1 data points say for x and for uh, for every x we have y value so 1 2 3 so we will have here some values for y so this is called as a data point set of data points so n plus 1 data points so first we call it as 0 1 2 and 3 so we have n plus 1 means 3 plus 1 that is 4 data points and for this we have to uh, uh, fit a polynomial of third order third order means x to the power of 3 power so third order polynomial can be set for this data points so these are the data points x for every x there is one value of y so 0 first value then 1 2 3 so we have uh, n plus 1 means 3 plus 1 data points and for that we can uh, fit a polynomial of third order so data points these data points can be used to evaluate the coefficients that is coefficients a0 comma a1 comma a2 and so on an for nth order polynomial as i told you for nth order polynomial n plus 1 data points are required that is the x naught x1 x2 and so on up to xn so these are the data points using data points
it is data points the following equations are used to evaluate evaluate the coefficients that is for example a naught can be obtained as f of x naught then a1 can be obtained as f of x1 comma x naught and a2 can be obtained as f of x2 <coughs> comma x1 comma x0 and so on <coughs> finally an can be obtained as f of xn xn minus 1 and so on x0 where the bracketed values functions evaluate evaluates are finite divided difference for example where bracketed functions bracket functions function evaluations are finite divided differences for example f of <coughs> xi comma xj is equal to f of xi minus f of xj divided by xi minus xj <coughs> this is first divided difference then the second finite divided difference second finite difference which represents difference of two first divided differences so this is first divided difference we can call as first divided difference so second divided difference is nothing but it is a re, uh, it represents it represents the difference of two first divided differences that is f of xi comma xj comma xk which is equal to f of xi comma xj 
minus u of x t comma x k divided by x i minus x k. <coughs> Similarly, we can find nth divided difference as and divided difference is given by so you can see here this is first divided difference this is also first divided difference and the second divided difference is obtained from difference of first divided differences so this is these are the first divided differences from which we are going to get second divided difference and so on nth divided difference is given by f of xn comma xn minus 1 and so on x1 comma x0 which is equal to f of xn comma xn minus 1 dash dash x1 minus of f of xn minus 1 so this is one divided difference this is second divided difference comma xn minus 2 and so on x0 divided by xn minus x naught so these differences can be used to evaluate the coefficients such as a naught a1 a2 a3 and so on to a n so these differences can be used evaluate the coefficients a naught a one and up to a <coughs> so therefore f n of x which is nothing but f of x naught plus of x minus x naught f of first divided difference x1 comma x naught plus of x minus x naught x minus x1 f of x2 comma x1 comma x naught so this is first divided difference this is second divided difference and so on plus lastly we can write this as x minus x naught x minus x1 and so on x minus x n minus 1 into f of xn xn minus 1 and so on lastly x naught which is called newton's divided difference interpolation polynomial which is nothing but newton's divided difference in population
interpolation formula or polynomial so now <coughs> we will consider certain data points for which function values are given and we will use this Newton's divided difference interpolating formula to find out the interpolation interpolating formula and interpolation at various points let us consider the data points as x0 is equal to 1 x1 is equal to 4 x2 is equal to 6 x3 is equal to 5 <laughs> f of x0 is equal to 0 whatsoever is the function if we substitute x0 value in that function as 1 then f of x0 becomes 0 then f of x1 is 1.3862 which is given then for x2 f of x2 this is going to be 1.79175 and f of x3 is equal to 1.60943 so this is a set of data points which is given to us and here n value is equal to 3 so x1 2 3 so n is 3 so x0 x1 x2 x3 so data points are n plus 1 the number of data points so n is equal to 3 data points is equal to n plus 1 means 4 so we have 4 data points and for this we have to use this Newton's divided difference formula so first we will go for first divided difference first divided difference f of 1 comma x naught this is given by f of x1 minus f of x naught divided by x1 minus x naught so this can be obtained as f of x1 is so f of x1 is 1.3862 1 1.3862 f of x naught is 0 divided by x1 is 4 and x naught is 1 so this works out to be 0 0.46209 so this is first divided difference again we want to find out second divided difference so first divided difference for first two sets now we will get first divided difference for second two sets that is f of x2 comma x1 which is nothing but f of x2 minus f of x1 divided by x2 minus x1 so f of x2 value is 1.79175 minus f of x1 is 1.3862 divided by x2 is 6 minus 4 and this will be 0 0.20273 then again between these two points we want to find out first divided difference that is x2 and x3 so these two points we are selecting now so f of 
x3 comma x2 first divided difference for this is f of x3 minus f of x2 whole divided by x3 minus x2 f of x3 is 1.609 Four three seven minus x two is one point seven nine one seven five divided by x three is five minus six. <coughs> this is going to be point one eight two three two. So this is about first divided difference now to get the second divided difference so we can select first three points so this was for first divided difference two points so for second divided difference we have to select first three points and then we have to get second divided difference so second divided difference is given by f of x2 comma x1 comma x0 which is equal to f of x2 minus x1 minus f of x1 minus x0 divided by x2 minus x0 so already we know f of x2 minus x0 x1 and f of x1 minus x0 so f of x2 minus x1 is sorry f of x2 comma x1 is 0 0.20273 so this we have obtained here this is the value required and first value is point four six two zero nine. So minus point four six two zero nine divided by x two minus x one again x two value is six and x one value is one. So x two minus x one six minus one. And this is equal to minus point zero five one eight seven three. So this is first second divided difference. So we have obtained second divided difference between first three points. Then we can get second divided difference from next three points. One two and three these three points second divided difference this is first three points so here now we are going to get second divided difference <coughs> for next three points f of x3 comma x2 comma x1 which is equal to f of x P comma x2 minus f of x2 comma x1 whole divided by x3 minus x1 which is equal to x3 f of x3 x2 <coughs> is 0.18232 point one eight two three two minus f of x two comma x one is point two zero two seven three divided by x three minus x one x three value is five minus four so this is going to be minus point zero two zero Four one zero nine. 
so this is about second divided difference now we want to get third divided difference third divided difference that is f of x3 comma x2 comma x1 comma x0 so between these points so we have to take uh, divided difference of second uh, order or second divided difference that is these two that is f of x3 comma x2 comma x1 minus f of x2 comma x1 comma x0 whole divided by x3 minus x0 so <coughs> again here this value we know that is minus 0 0.02041019 minus of minus this is plus 0 0.051873 so already this is minus sign multiplied by minus becomes plus x3 value is 5 and x0 is 1 so this is going to be 0 0.00 seven eight six five five so this is how we obtain this first divided difference then second divided difference then third divided difference now we'll write down polynomial of third order <coughs> so as we had a polynomial of n fn of x which was given by this method itself which is equal to here <coughs> f of x naught plus of x minus x naught first divided difference f of x1 comma x0 plus x minus x0 x minus x1 <coughs> f of x2 comma x1 comma x0 and plus <coughs> x minus x naught minus x minus x1 into x minus x2 into f of x3 comma x2 comma x1 comma x naught so we stop here because we have set third divided difference of this only beyond that we do not have divided differences therefore this can be written as f3 of x f of x0 value which we have obtained here is 0 which is given as 0 0 plus of x minus x0 f of x1 x not first divided difference is 0 0.46209 0 0.46209 plus of x minus x not x minus x1 and second divided difference x2 x1 x0 is minus 0.5 so into minus 
पॉइंट जीरो फाइव वन एट सेवन प्लस ऑफ एक्स माइनस एक्स नॉट एक्स माइनस एक्स वन एक्स माइनस एक्स टू इन टू इस लास्ट डिवाइडेड डिफरेंस दैट इस थर्ड डिवाइडेड डिफरेंस इस पॉइंट जीरो जीरो सेवन एट सिक्स फाइव फाइव इन टू पॉइंट जीरो जीरो सेवन एट सिक्स डबल फाइव सो नो अगेन वी नो एक्स नॉट वैल्यू एक्स वन वैल्यू एक्स टू वैल्यू सब्सटिट्यूटिंग डोज वैल्यूज वी गेट ये थ्री ऑफ एक्स एस जीरो गेट्स कैंसल पॉइंट फोर सिक्स टू जीरो नाइन एक्स माइनस एक्स नॉट वैल्यू इज वन then this minus minus point zero five one eight seven into x minus x not x minus x not value is one into x minus x one value is again four plus of point zero zero seven eight six five five <coughs> Into x minus x not is one. X minus x one is four, and x minus x two value is six. X minus six. So this is the interpolating polynomial we can say of third order. As we are going to say third order means x into x into x x to the power of three. So therefore we call it as a polynomial of third order. So now to find out the value at x is equal to two. So in this given data, <coughs> for x is equal to one, f of x is given. For x is equal to four, f of x is given. But what is the value of polynomial at x is equal to two that is not known? So to find out at x is equal to two the value of f of x, so this polynomial which we have obtained will help us. So already we know at Zero, then at uh, four, at six and at five, but we don't know what is the value of x uh, f of x at x is equal to two. So here, but to find out at x is equal to two, <coughs> if we substitute x is equal to two in this f three of two. Wherever there is x, if we substitute value as two, then we get the value of f of two. So this value is going to be point six two eight seven. So just you need to substitute all these values in this equation. Let us substitute f three of x is equal to point four six two zero nine x minus And that is two minus one, two minus one minus of point zero five one eight seven, two minus one into two minus four plus of point zero zero seven eight six five five, two minus one, two minus four, two minus six. Then we get f three of two. As point two six eight seven six eight nine, so this is how we are going to use this method to find out a polynomial, and that polynomial helps us to find out value of f of x at all values of x. <coughs> so now, this information which we have collected uh, will fill up into a table. So systematic way of filling it into table that we will see. So here. <coughs> Uh, we have x not value as one, and f of x not value which is given in the problem as zero. Then x one value which is given in this problem is x one is equal to four, and f of x one is equal to one point three six eight two. So this was given. Then x two is equal to six. f of x2 is equal to 
0.175 then x3 is equal to 5 then f of x3 was given as 1.6094 <coughs> so now we uh, write here del first divided difference then del square second divided difference then del cube third divided difference so first divided difference of these two we obtained here as it is in between these two so this value is point four six two zero nine then we obtain first divided difference of these two and we write in between so in between these two lines we are writing so this is point two zero two seven three so this value we obtained then between these two we obtained another first divided difference and that was point one eight two three two <coughs> then second divided difference is obtained between these two and that value is nothing but minus again it is written between these two minus point five one eight seven three and then second divided difference between these two is obtained and written at the center of these two so that is minus point zero two zero four one zero nine and then third divided difference is obtained between these two and that is written here that is point zero zero seven eight six five five so this is how uh, this data is written and <coughs> for taking it into the equations so we have taken so this set so we have started from this and we have taken this upper points so this is known as forward divided difference formula so we have taken 0.46209 then <coughs> minus 0 0.05 then 0 0.0078655 so these values we have taken because so x value was 2 at x is equal to 2 we have taken so therefore we have taken forward divided difference so x is equal to 2 is very close to 1 so therefore we have taken this set of uh, data for formulating the polynomial here so here we have taken 0 then 0.46 then minus 0.51 then 0 0.0078 so this this data is taken to form the polynomial <coughs> now we'll uh, discuss about the newton's forward difference interpolation formula line uh, Newton's backward difference interpolation formula and a numerical over it. So directly we will write this equation. Newton's forward difference interpolation formula which is given in general as yn of x is equal to y naught so instead of f here it is it is y f n of x y n of x there was f of x naught here it is y naught plus p into del of y naught del of y naught means it is first divided difference then plus of p <coughs> p minus 1 divided by 2 factorial del square y naught so this is second divided difference plus of p p minus 1 p minus 2 3 factorial del cube of y naught third divided difference and plus so on plus of p p minus 1 p minus 2 and so on p 
पी माइनस एन प्लस वन डिवाइडेड बाय एन फैक्टोरियल डेल टू द पावर ऑफ एन वाई नॉट वेर ये दिस एक्स इज नथिंग बट एक्स नॉट प्लस ऑफ पी इनटू एच एंड दिस एच इज नथिंग बट x1 minus x0 and that is equal to x2 minus x1 and so on whereas p is equal to x minus x0 divided by h so if we transfer this x on this side x minus x0 divided by h gives us p so this p whatever is written here is given by x minus x not divided by h where h is the difference between the two data points so similarly uh, so this is uh, similar to the equation which we have used in previous problem so now uh, newton's backward difference interpolating formula we will write <coughs> newton's backward difference interpolating interpolation formula this is given by yn of x which is equal to yn plus of p del of yn this first divided difference from backward side reverse side plus of p p plus 1 divided by 2 factorial del square yn plus of plus 1 p p plus 1 p plus 2 and so on p plus n minus 1 divided by n factorial del n y n again here p is equal to same x minus x n divided by h <coughs> so now uh, these are the two formulas with the help of these two formulas we will simplify one numerical which will be very much clear for us to know this Newton's backward difference interpolation formula and Newton's forward difference interpolation formula so now as uh, he suggests that the values of x in degree and sin x are given in the following table determine what we have to determine determine sine 18 degree and sine 38 degree <coughs> so there are two values are given x sine x so here we will have x naught value as 15 and y naught value as 0.2588 then x1 value as 20 y1 value as point 
थ्री फोर टू जीरो टू दीज आर दैल्यूज गिवन इन दिस प्रॉब्लम एक्स टू इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फाइव देन वाई टू इज इक्वल टू पॉइंट फोर टू टू सिक्स वन देन एक्स थ्री इज इक्वल टू थर्टी वाई थ्री इज इक्वल टू पॉइंट फाइव देन एक्स फोर इज इक्वल टू थर्टी फाइव वाई फोर इज इक्वल टू पॉइंट फाइव सेवन थ्री फाइव सेवन देन एक्स फाइव इज इक्वल टू फोर्टी एंड वाई फाइव इज इक्वल टू पॉइंट सिक्स फोर टू सेवन एट remember one thing as i have written here x not x1 x2 x3 so in original problem you will not get this x1 x2 x3 x not nothing why so you have to assume that first value is x not first value is here y not so that you have to assume so these things will not be given <coughs> so now we will get first divided difference second divided difference first divided difference the first divided difference of these two So how to get first divided difference? So point three four two zero two minus point two five eight eight. So second value minus first value divided by twenty minus fifteen. Twenty minus fifteen. Then we get this as point zero eight three two zero one one. <coughs> Then first divided difference of these two, point four two two six one minus point three four two zero two divided by twenty five minus twenty. So this gives us point zero eight zero five nine eight two. Then again divided difference of these two point five minus point four two two six one point five minus point four two two six one divided by thirty minus twenty five. So this divided difference gives us as point point zero seven seven three eight one seven. Again, divided difference of these two points. First divided difference. So point five seven three five seven point five seven three five seven minus point five divided by thirty five minus thirty means divided by five. So this divided difference gives us as point zero seven seven three eight one seven point zero seven seven three eight one seven. Then divided difference of these two. Point six four two seven eight minus point five seven three five seven divided by forty minus thirty five means five. So this is going to be point zero six nine two one one two. <coughs> Then we go for second divided difference delta square. So delta square again divided difference of these two. So what we do? Point zero eight zero five nine eight two minus a point zero eight three two zero 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 one one divided by so here the so last value is x two and x naught so that is twenty five minus fifteen in denominator twenty five minus fifteen so here uh, first what we do subtract these two that is point point zero eight five Uh, sorry, point zero eight zero five nine eight two minus of this value. That is point zero eight three two zero one one divided by twenty five minus of fifteen. So this is second divided difference. Then we get this as point zero eight zero five Two six zero nine. Two six zero nine. 
then taking divided difference of these two so 0 0.07738 minus 0 0.0805 divided by so this 30 minus 20 30 minus 20 divided by 30 minus 20 we get this as point so this is negative okay this is going to be negative minus and minus point zero zero three two one six five and divide the difference of these two again point zero seven three five seven six four minus of point zero seven seven so this will be negative so difference of divided by thirty five minus twenty five is ten so divided by ten so this is going to be minus point zero zero three eight zero five three and divided difference of these two so this is point zero six nine two one one two minus of point zero seven three five so this will be again negative divided by forty minus 30 that is 10 so this is going to be minus point zero zero <coughs> four three six five two so this is second divided difference then we go for third divided difference that is delta to the power of three so divided difference of these two so that is point zero zero three two one six five minus of point minus of minus this is minus negative and minus of minus this is also negative minus of minus becomes plus so this is minus point zero three three two one six five minus of minus it becomes plus point zero zero two six zero nine divided by again oh, we can see here thirty and fifteen so thirty minus fifteen this difference we take here so delta the power uh, third uh, divided difference we get here as minus point zero 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 six one three six and divided difference of these two so subtract this point zero zero thirty eight minus this is minus of minus this becomes plus so minus point zero zero three eight five zero three uh, sorry three eight zero five three minus of minus it becomes plus point zero zero three two one six five so then this uh, divided by uh, for this is thirty five minus of twenty thirty five minus of twenty so this gives us minus of point zero 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 five eight 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 and divide difference of these two uh, minus point zero zero four three six five two plus of point zero zero three eight five uh, three eight zero five three divided by again this forty minus of twenty five so this gives us minus of point triple zero five five nine nine then fourth divided difference <coughs> and difference of these two so minus point triple uh, minus point triple zero five eight 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 minus minus plus point zero 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 six one three six divided by so this value thirty five minus fifteen thirty five minus fifteen so this gives us point four times zero one two three four two four eight then this again here we get point four times zero 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 
डिवाइडेड बाय फोर्टी माइनस ऑफ ट्वेंटी गिव्स अस दिस वैल्यू देन कम्स टू डेल टू दी पावर ऑफ फाइव देन डिफरेंस ऑफ दिस टू सो पॉइंट फोर टाइम्स जीरो टू एट नाइन माइनस ऑफ पॉइंट फोर टाइम्स जीरो टू फोर एट डिवाइडेड बाय फोर्टी माइनस ऑफ फिफ्टीन so this gives us point five times zero forty one. <coughs> so this is how we prepare this table, and this table helps us to find out the polynomial as well as to find out the value. So how to get this? That we will see. So before uh, moving to this. We must know value of h x naught and x n. So here, in this problem, h is equal to five. How h is equal to five? If we see, difference between x naught and x one is five. X one in x two is five. So that is called as h. So now we know value of h. Then x naught value is also known. X naught value is fifteen, and x n value is forty. Then, uh, for forward divided difference, p is equal to x minus x not divided by h. So, here for forward divided difference. Two values are given in this problem itself. So one thing in this problem, what he is going to say, find sine eighteen means x is equal to eighteen and x is equal to thirty eight. There are two different problems. So x is equal to eighteen, which is close to fifteen. So there we use forward divided difference formula to find out x is equal to sine eighteen. To find out sine eighteen, we use forward divided difference formula, and to find out sine thirty eight, thirty eight is very close to the end. So therefore, we take Uh, backward divided difference for so now uh, for sin 18 x is equal to 18 we consider so x is equal to 18 and x not is equal to 15 divided by h is equal to 5 that is nothing but 0.6 so p is equal to 0.6 we got for forward difference then for backward difference Backward divided difference. If we see p is equal to x minus x n divided by h, so x value we know for backward divided difference. We want to find out <coughs> that x is equal to thirty eight. So for lower uh, value, so here is thirty eight. Thirty-eight lies between thirty-five and forty, so we have to use backward divided difference. So here it was eighteen was between fifteen and twenty. We have used forward divided difference. Okay, so now x value is thirty-eight minus forty divided by h is five, which is equal to minus point four. So now p value is known. Now knowing p value. For both forward difference and backward difference, we can simplify these polynomials, and then we can get these values. So you can see here, y n forward divided difference, y n of x, which is equal to y not plus of p delta of y not plus p p minus one divided by two factorial. Delta square, delta square y not plus p p minus one p minus two divided by three factorial into delta third divided difference y not plus of p 
p minus 1 p minus 2 p minus 3 divided by 4 factorial del to the power of 4 delta 4 why not plus of p p minus 1 p minus 2 p minus 3 and p minus 4 divided by 5 factorial delta to the fifth divided difference why not so now this is for forward divided difference so why not value we know so what is why not value at first 0 0.2588 0 0.2588 Point two five eight eight. The P value we know for forward difference that is 0 0.6. 0 0.6. Why not? Del of why not? Del of why not? We can see in this table. So this is del of why not? Delta of why not? That is 0 0.083. 2011. So this is value is. Point zero eight three two zero one one plus of p is point six into point six minus one divided by two factorial into del square y not we can see del square y not here so this is del square y not this value it is negative value del square y not is negative value so this is negative value into minus of point zero zero two six zero nine then plus of p is point six point six minus one point six minus two point six minus three divided by four factorial sorry uh it is two only up to this this is the term which we have forgotten so divided by three factorial <coughs> del three uh, delta three or third divided difference Third divided difference is here. Why not? So this is the negative value into minus point zero 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 six one three six then plus point six into point six minus one third term 0.6 minus 2 0.6 minus 3 divided by 4 factorial del to the power of 4 so fourth divided difference is here that is 0.4 times 0 248 Point four times zero two forty eight plus of again these values last values p means point six point six minus one point six minus two point six minus three point six minus four divided by five factorial into <coughs> delta phi y naught value is this one into point five times zero four one so this gives us sign eighteen we get this as y n of eighteen that is nothing but sign 18 sin 18 degree so what is the value of sin 18 degree that we discuss here
And 18 degree is minus 0.75. The answer for this is minus 0.75. We must get approximately negative answer. <coughs> Similarly, for backward divided difference, you can take this formula y n of x is equal to y n plus of p del y n plus of p plus 1 divided by 2 factorial del square y n plus of p p plus 1 p plus 2 divided by 3 factorial on y n plus of P, P plus 1, P plus 2, P plus 3, divided by 4 factorial, del square y n plus of <coughs> uh, P, P plus 1, P plus 2, P plus 3, P plus 4 divided by 5 factorial delta to the power of 4 y n plus of P P plus 1 P plus 2 P plus 3 P plus 4 P plus 5 whole divided by 2 factorial 4 factorial 6 factorial del 5 to the power of y n. So here p value which we are going to substitute is just we have calculated as so for p substitute minus 0.4 and for del of y n del square of y n del cube of y n del fourth of y n del fifth of y n so we must refer this previous table so here this is del of y n del square of y n del cube of y n this is sorry del naught del one del two like this sorry y n y n right so this is not there just a minute <coughs> so here this is y n this is del of y n this is del square of y n so this is del cube of y n and this is del 4 of y n and this is del 5 of y n so these values we can take from this table and write in the formula you will get value of sine 38 so these values we have to substitute in this equation in this equation we get sine 38 whatsoever value of sine 38 you get you substitute in this yn p delta yn and then every value you know and you substitute you calculate you will get 
the value of sine 38 that is x is equal to 38 okay we stop here and we'll discuss the things in next lecture